Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Konnichiwa and uh, welcome to basic Japanese class for beginners. We have been doing a lot of Japanese in the past lessons. I hope it is not all in the PPT here and you all are practicing at home and learning new words and remembering them as well. See by doing this actually what you do is one, you get used to the sounds that you are hearing every day, that you are learning every day and you sort of you also memorize all the new words that you learn. So, please do not leave it here in the PPT try to also practice at home. So, now as we were doing pronunciation practice in the previous uh, lessons we will continue with that today. So, that it gives you more practice and you get more accustomed to the new sounds. You can repeat after me please. O e e e, ho he he he, ka ki ku ke, he he hu ho, sa su sa se, te chi tatsu. Keki kuko, nani nu no, sase saso, neni ne no, sushi sase, techi tsuto. Techi te to, mami me mo, tochi tatsu, memi mu mo, hahi he ho. Mommy mi me, ha hi hi ho, ya yu ya yo, sa shi sa su, ra ri ru re. Ha hi ha hu, re ri ru ro. So, I hope by this you are at least getting used to the sounds. Now, in our previous lessons we had done hiragana, you rem I hope you remember uh, we had done the hiragana script which is cursive as we all saw and uh, as I had told you earlier it has 71 sounds in all. So, over here this is the katakana script for you which you can see over here on your screen now and as you can see it is a little angular and it is a little sharp and I would like to tell you that this katakana script is actually meant for foreign words, words which are not of Japanese origin. So, anything that is not Japanese, any word that is not Japanese is to be written in katakana. For example, our names, any words in English 
from English language which are used in uh, the Japanese language are to be written in katakana. It could be a German word, it could be a French word, it could be an English word, it could be anything which is not of Japanese origin is to be written in katakana. So, now this is exactly similar to hiragana. You can see on your screens in blue is the vowels written on top. Then we have the k, s, t, n, h, m, y, r and w letters for you here and the sounds associated with it. So, it is ka, ki, ku, ke, ko and it goes right till the end till n as it is in hiragana. So, you can do it at home. Again we have extra sounds here in the katakana uh, series, the set 2. The sounds are ga, za, da, ba and pa. Now you will notice in hiragana these sounds, these letters were actually made from the set 1 symbols. Similarly over here I will go back to this one to set 1. You will see ka, ki, ku, ke and ko. If you just put this symbol, this small symbol over here on top of ka, ki, ku, ke, ko, it becomes ga, gi, gu, ge and go. Similarly for sa, if you put this symbol over here, the sound becomes za, ji, zu, ze and zo. I will once write it for you, then it will be easier to understand. For example, in hiragana, it was ka, ki, ku, ke and ko. Just by putting this symbol here, we had changed it to ga, gi, gu, ge and go. In a similar manner, in katakana as well, ka, ki, ku, ke and ko. So, just by putting this over here, we make it ga, gi, gu, ge and go. So, the same thing can be done for za, da, ba and pa. Now, as katakana is for foreign words, words which are not of Japanese origin, naturally foreign words will have a lot of sounds which are not there in the language. Thus, to accommodate those foreign sounds, to accommodate those sounds which are not there in the language, special letters have been created. So, these are those special letters here on your screen you can see these special letters. Now, we did this word dare last time. Dare and donata are question words corresponding to the interrogative English word who. Donata is more polite of course, dare is more informal and uh, is to be used amongst friends amongst uh, people your own age, but donata generally is used when you are in a formal situation, when you are talking to people older to you, seniors. Dare no is similar in meaning to the English interrogative word whose showing possession and belonging. You have done a lot of vocabulary, you have done particle no. So, over here we have something written. Kaban wa dare no desu ka. Dare no means whose. So, now kaban wa dare no desu ka. With ka you can make it into a question. You can ask someone whose bag is it and instead of bag, instead of kaban which is given over here, you can put any other noun that you want. 
for example, pen, empitsu, kuruma, camera, saifu, kagi. So, you can put any of these in place of kaban. I will just show it to you. In place of kaban, you can put pen, toke, hon, jisho or any other noun and you can ask whose is it. Noun wa dare no desu ka? Whose is this? Now again, we have this sentence over here for you. You can ask someone kaban wa dare no desu ka? So, instead of dare no desu ka, whose is it? Now, for whose you can put any name, you can, you can ask oka san, just a minute please. Oka-san, Oto-san, Tanaka-san, Sensei. So, you can ask one, Kaban wa dare no desu ka? Whose Kaban is it? And you can also ask, Kaban wa Oka-san no desu ka? You can name the person. Pen wa sensei no desu ka? Tokei wa Tanaka san no desu ka? And of course, you can answer in hai Tanaka san no desu, ie Tanaka san no dewa arimasen, or hai so desu, or ie so dewa arimasen. So, you can practice it at home like this with your partner and you will feel more comfortable. Empitsu wa okasan no desu ka? Kaban wa imoto no desu ka? Kuruma wa ototo no desu ka? Kamera wa tomodachi no desu ka? Saifu wa sensei no desu ka? Kagi wa rao san no desu ka? So, you can practice like this with your partner, answer it properly and it will give you a lot of practice and more confidence. Noun wa dare no desu ka? Now, because we want you to replace this with a lot of new vocabulary, there is some vocabulary for you over here. Oksan, the meanings equivalents in English are given over here in this column. It is written in hiragana in the third column and the first column in blue is the word in Roman. Oksan, kanai, shujin, goshujin, Musume. You can also repeat after me, please. Musuko. Ojo-san. Oyome-san. Omago. Oma 
父母おじさん。おばさん。Now you must be remembering we did おじいさん、which is grandfather, and おばあさん、which is grandmother. So please, this is uncle and aunt. The I is not elongated over here, and the A is also not elongated in aunt. Also, we have done this word anata a number of times in our previous lessons. Anata corresponds to you in English. And it is impolite to address someone as anata in Japanese. It is customary to address a person by their first name or by their surnames in Japanese. Also, I would like to tell you, I think、uh, I have also told you in the previous lessons that san is to be used after, one's, after someone's name and not to be used. After one's name, please. After family, after your own family members and your own name, san is not to be used. Now we have been practicing numbers. We have done till 70. We'll do 71 till 80 today. Please repeat after me, it will give you practice and you will get used to the sounds as well. Nanaju ichi. Nanaju ni. Nanaju san. Nanaju yon or Nanaju shi. Nanaju go. Nanaju roku. Nanaju nana or Nanaju shichi. Nanaju hachi. Nanaju q. And hachiju. Now, as we have done numbers so far. I think we should also use them in our conversation. There is a simple kaiwa over here, simple dialogue between two people, Neha and Tanaka san. Tanaka san wa nan sai desu ka? Watashi wa sanju go sai desu. Tanaka san no ok san wa? Miobo wa sanju ni sai desu. So, I will read it out to you first and then explain. Tanaka san wa nan sai desu ka? Watashi wa sanju go sai desu. Tanaka san no ok san wa? Nyobo wa sanju ni sai desu. So, this is a simple conversation. Neha wants to know how old Tanaka is. So, sai over here, sai, this word sai, which is new for you today, means age. Tanaka san wa nan. Nan, this word nan you have already done. Over here, nan means how and not what as we have done earlier. Tanaka san wa nan sai desu ka means how old are you? Atashi wa sanju go sai desu. I am 35 years old. Tanaka san no ok san, your wife. Tanaka san no ok san wa, and please see the intonation is. Rising, even though it has been left, it is incomplete, but from context, it is very clear what Neha san wants to know, and the intonation is rising in the end. Nyobo wa sanju ni sai desu. 
So, we have done in our previous vocabulary section kanai, kanai means my wife or one's own wife, niobo also means the same, niobo wa sanju ni sai desu. Now, sai here is a counter as, as you will see. Sai is a counter used for asking someone's age or telling your own age in Japanese and it corresponds to years old in English. So, now we have a lot of counters or I should say we have in Japanese different ways of counting different things. For example, for example, uh, counting people you count in a different way counting small irregular objects you do it in a different manner, then counting long cylindrical uh, objects you do in a different manner. Over here you can see sai which is about telling age, so that is age is told in a different manner. So, such counters such a method of counting such counters are numerous in Japanese there are number of counters like this and one of them is one of them we are doing today over here in class. Also please remember that when you are when you are asking someone else someone who is older to you you are asking their age then it is impolite to use sai. There is a polite way of asking how old you are which is o ikutsu you can see it is written over here o ikutsu. So, when you ask someone who is older to you then you would generally say whatever the name of the person san wa o ikutsu desu ka. Please remember do not ask dash san wa nansai desu ka to someone who is older to you or senior in rank or position. Over here it is written in polite or formal conversation when the person is older to the speaker in experience position or is not well known then o ikutsu is used in place of the age suffix sai as it is considered more polite. Also remember that 20 years old you have to use this word hatachi and not sai with hatachi. Thus age counter sai is not to be used with the digit 20 only hatachi is used and not hatachi sai please remember that. Of course, the more you practice the easier it becomes you do not even have to remember it that much it is just there and you will only say hatachi and not hatachi sai. Now, you have age over here please repeat after me is sai. Ni sai, san sai, yon sai, go sai, rok sai, nana sai. Hasai, Kyusai, Jussai or Jissai, Ju Issai, Ju Nisai. Hatachi and Sanju Gosai. So, you will notice over here that for Issai, Hasai and Jussai it is a little different otherwise you just add Sai to the digit over here Ni, San, Yon, Go, Roku, Nana, Sanju, Q all these you just add psi after the digit. Now, we have been doing a lot of new things every time. So, this time I am going to explain something to you which is kore wa hon desu. 
earlier we had done hon desu ka, jisho desu ka. By just pointing out, by just showing the book or the dictionary to you, I just said hon desu ka, hon desu and jisho desu. That this is a book, this is a book and this is a dictionary. Now today we will do properly how it is to be actually done. This is again a conversation between Kumar san and Tanaka san. Suimasen, sore wa nan desu ka? Kore wa jisho desu. Nihongo no jisho desu ka? Hai, so desu. Nihongo no jisho desu. Tanaka san no jisho desu ka? Iie, so de wa arimasen. I will read the conversation once and then explain. Sumimasen, sore wa nan desu ka? Kore wa jisho desu. Nihongo no jisho desu ka? Hai, so desu. Nihongo no jisho desu. Tanaka san no jisho desu ka? Iie. So dewa arimasen. Watashi no jisho dewa arimasen. Dare no jisho desu ka? Kore wa sensei no jisho desu. So this is between two people. I am sure some of it you would have understood. Some of it I will explain. There are a few new words for you. Sumimasen. Excuse me. Sore. Sore wa Nan desu ka? So now these are these are new words. Kore, sore, are, and dore. Now these these are demonstrative pronouns. Kore means this. Sore, that, that, over there and which of the two or three things, which of the two or three objects which are being shown to you. So now for example, this is person 1, A san, this is B san over here and here. Now something which is close to a san, for example, this is a bag, this is a bag, this is close to A san, but it is far away from B san. So, well, this is kore, kore for A, but sore for, sore for B. So now how will he ask him what this is? Kore wa, he can point it, point at the bag and say kore wa nan desu ka? Sore wa kaban desu. Is that alright? So whatever is close to the speaker is kore and whatever is far away from the speaker is sore. Sore wa nan desu ka? Kore wa Jisho desu. Nihongo no jisho desu ka? We have already done this earlier. Nihongo no jisho desu ka? Hai, so desu. Nihongo no jisho desu. Tanaka san no jisho desu ka? Does it belong to Mr. Tanaka? Iie, so dewa arimasen. Watashi no dewa arimasen. You can omit the watashi no dewa arimasen also. Or you can give a short answer, iie so dewa arimasen. So well, Kumar san again wants to know, in that case well, dare no jisho desu ka? Whose jisho is it? Kore wa sensei no jisho desu. You can again remove jisho from here and everything will be understood very very clearly, kore wa sensei no desu. There is no need to add the noun over there. If you want you can add. If not, no itself completes everything and everything is very clearly understood. The same conversation is in 
Japanese, written in Japanese for you. Now you can see you have hiragana over here, kanji over here, again you have hiragana, hiragana like this, then jisho, again kanji, kanji, hiragana, hiragana, kanji. So, you will see all through that kanji and hiragana is mixed, it goes together. So, you cannot write, of course you can write Japanese in hiragana completely, but because of homophones it becomes a little difficult and thus kanji is required and the moment you look at this character, you look at this character, you could look at this character, you know exactly what we are talking about. So, that is how kanji is very, very important in the language. Now, we have kore, sore and are, these are demonstratives as I told you, they are demonstrative pronouns and they tell you about the object. But please remember this set of kore, sore, are and dore only talks about inanimate things, only about non-living things, only about objects, where they are with reference to the speaker. Now, this kore, sore, are, dore is made from the base ko, so, a and do. To this base, we add re and thus it becomes kore, sore, are and dore and is to be used only for non-living things or objects only. Now, over here you will see we have two people A san and B san. Now, A san is pointing at this kaban, at this bag and he is asking kore wa nan desu ka because it is close to him, it is next to him. So, kore wa nan desu ka. What does B san have to say? Can you tell me? Well, B san, what does he have to say? B san points at the bag and then he says sore wa kaban desu. So, you can see something that is close to the speaker is kore and something which is far away from the speaker is sore. We have another example for you. Now, A san again, he is pointing at this bag over here again and what is he saying? Sore wa nan desu ka? Because it is far away from him. So, sore wa nan desu ka? And what does B san have to say? Will you try please? Try. B san says he is pointing at this bag and he is saying kore wa kaban desu. So, depending on who is saying what, kore and sore will change. Who is where the object is placed, the person will use kore and sore. Now, this is for you to practice at home as well. Kore wa nan desu ka? Nan you already know. Sore wa pen desu as this is A and B. So, you can replace pen as I told you with empitsu, hon, kagi, toke, kyokasho. Now, we have, we have already done watashi no pen desu in lesson 4, anata no pen desu ka asking a question. Then also we can replace watashi and anata with watashi no tomodachi no, anata no tomodachi no easily and ask the same question. Now, today slightly different noun 1 will show what noun 2 consists of or is about what it is about. For example, we have this sentence over here, kore wa kompyuta no hon desu. This book is on or about computers. This is a book on computers. Kore wa nihongo no jisho desu. This is a Japanese dictionary. This is a dictionary of Japanese words. So, no can also be used like this, watashi no pen desu. It can also be used like this 
これはコンピューターのオンですなおこれは誰のカバンですか We have done これは誰のカバンですかそれはラオさんのカバンです。Now what is what are we to do over here? We can replace カバン with トケイ as we did in the previous one。ジショクルマ帽子財布靴 This kaban over here can be replaced with this. As I told you earlier, これはラオさんのカバンですかこれはお母さんのカバンですかこれは友達のカバンですか We can replace ラオさん also with other vocabulary that we have done. Now, okay, there is something for you. I have this bag here which you can see on the, on the screen. I have this bag. There are a lot of things in the bag. What you can do is you can sit with your partner with a bag or a box and try to take out things from the, ba from the box or the bag and try to ask your partner. For example, you can, you can take this out and say, Kore wa nan desu ka? So, you, you can practice about Kore and Sore. Kore wa nan desu ka? You can answer that. Kore wa nan desu ka? これは何ですかこれは何ですか Then of course, you can take out more things from the bag and you can ask different things like これは何ですか We also have a lot of things here for you today. これは you remember I am sure what this is. So, これは何ですか You can answer it again with your partner. You can also say, これは鍵ですかこれはペンドライブですかこれは消しゴムですか So, you can, you can ask and you can answer and that will be good for you because you can remember all the words. You can remember them easily and you will get practice as well. Now, a very simple expression, useful expression. Anytime you do not understand or you do not know the meaning of the word that is being used, you can simply say sumimasen, which is excuse me. Sumimasen, imi wa nan desu ka? If you do not understand something very, very simply, you can ask, Sumimasen, imi wa nan desu ka? Just repeat after me once, please. Sumimasen, imi wa nan desu ka? Now, what you can do is you can, you can ask about similar things as well. それはラーメンですかいいえ、これはラーメンではありません。これはそばです。So, similar looking things you can, you can ask about. For example, you can ask about a pencil or a pen. It looks similar. So, whether it is a pencil, whether it is a pen, これは。And again, answer could be それは。Or それは。And answer could be これは。In これは。You have 辞書、辞引き。Jisho is a dictionary, Jibiki is a reference book, Kyokasho is your textbook, Shosetsu is a novel, Zashi is a magazine, Manga is comic book, Butaniku pork, Toriniku chicken. Hon is a book, Noto is a notebook, Zashi again which we did earlier and Manga which again we did over here. So, you can ask about any of these things, you can have both the things in your hand or lot of things could be 
somewhere on the desk somewhere and you can say is it this or is it this. Koreva ramen deva arimasen koreva soba desu. Now, we did kore sore, we did these two. Now, there is another one over here, are. Are is something which is far away from the listener and the speaker both. For example, if the bag is over here, is it visible now? If the bag is over here, so it is far away from the speaker and the listener both. Now, for that, the person will have to say are that over there are wa nan desu ka are wa nan desu ka is it all right are wa nan desu ka you can please say after me are wa nan desu ka are wa nan desu ka are wa kaban desu because the answer will be are wa kaban desu because again the bag is far away from the speaker as well. So, please kore is close to the speaker, sore is far away from the speaker over here and are is far away from both the speaker and the listener. As you can see over here A san B san, he is pointing at something over here kore and his hand is pointing somewhere else. So, that would be see he is pointing over here this is kore for both of them. Now, his, his finger is pointing somewhere else that is are, are wa ginko desu that is a bank. Again the same thing you can see over here A san and B san. A san is pointing at a bag, kaban. Are wa nan desu ka? What does B have to say? Are wa kaban desu. So, is it clear now? Kore, sore, and are. Please remember when to use are and when to use kore. You can practice like this. Are wa nan desu ka? Are wa, it could be anything. Ginko bank, yubin kyoku, post office, honya, a bookstore, yaoya, a vegetable store. Also, you could ask about a certain thing, you could name the object. Sore wa shimbun desu ka? Hai, kore wa shimbun desu. Hai. Kore wa zashi desu. Hai, kore wa manga desu. You could read this yourself. Hai, kore wa desu. Hai, kore wa desu. Hai, kore wa desu. So, I hope you are getting lot of practice now. We have done kanji characters in our previous lessons. We have done till 1 to 10 and a few more characters. Today we will do a simple character hito meaning person and another character oki a similar looking character oki. So, now I will draw hito for you. When you when you think of a person for kanjis because they are ideograms and pictograms when you think of a person how would you how would you depict it in a in straight lines. So, well a person would be like this will not it that is how you would make a person. like this. So, we remove the head and 1 and 2. Wherever you see this character, this character over here, it shows that it is to deal with a person. 
simple straight line like this and another one like this. If you put a head over here and hands over here, this looks like a man, I am sure. You can, you can remember it now. So, hito, hito, hito is to be made like this, simple hito. There are two readings given, hito and jin. You have done this word jin earlier as in Indo jin, Indo jin. So, this is the same jin over here which we are doing today, Indo jin. Now, there is another character Oki which is very similar to jin. Though it is not made like this, like this, but this is how oki looks. So, the way to make oki is 1, 2 and 3. So, 3 lines, 3 strokes to this character, this means oki, means big, means big, oki or dai. There are 2 readings over here, oki and dai. Hito is a two stroke kanji and oki is a three stroke kanji. Now, we have done some characters which are quite similar to oki and hito. Look at them and then you will see. What is this character? Can someone tell me? This is roku. Roku, ichi ni san shi go roku. So, this is roku which is 6. It is quite similar to dai and jin over here. It is a 4 stroke character as we have done earlier. Now, there is another character number 8, hachi, hachi, hachi simple two stroke character quite similar to hito. So, these are the two characters today we have done oki and hito. Now, some words with these kanji characters nihon jin, nihon jin, nihon jin means jin is the word that we have done jin. Nihonjin. Nihonjin means a Japanese. America Jin. We have done America Jin. America Jin and American. Then we have Jinko Jin. This is this is the word that we are doing and Ko is a different kanji, of course, we will do it later, but the word is jinko, 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 okay, jinko, jinko means population. I am repeating it again and again for you, so that you get the pronunciation properly, the correct pronunciation. So, jinko, jinko is a new word, means population. We have, um, what else do we have? We have hito bito, hito and bito. Now, what happens is over here, this is not actually a character, this is just a repetition. When you repeat the same word again, you just make this character over here, which shows and signifies that this character, this word is to be repeated. Hitobito means people. Hito bito. Hitobito means people. We have some words with dai as well for you. Dai gaku, dai gaku, dai gaku means, dai means big and gaku over here means seat of learning, place of learning. So, dai gaku is a big place of learning which definitely would be a university. Then dai gaku and sei, I will make it for you properly, dai gaku sei, dai 
gaku se. Dai gaku se. Dai is like this. Dai. Gaku and se. Dai gaku se. Dai gaku se means a university graduate student, a graduate student or a university student. And the other word that we did earlier was dai gaku, which is university. Now, we have another word for you, one more word, otona. Otona. Otona means a big person, meaning adult. Otona. So, you have three words with this character dai or oki over here. You can repeat after me dai gakse, dai gaku, and otona. Now, let us try to practice multiples of 100. Well, you can see hyaku over here and hyaku is 100 and the character for Hyaku is also given. Ni Hyaku, simple Ni plus 100 makes it Ni Hyaku. And then we have Sambyaku and you will notice the reading for Hyaku changes to Byaku. So, so far we have two readings for 100, one is Hyaku and one is Byaku. Now, let us see what is there. Well, we have Yon Hyaku for 400, Go Hyaku for 500, And then again, you will notice that the reading has changed to Pyaku, Hyaku, Byaku and Pyaku. So, now you will notice that we have three readings for 100. You have to keep in mind where to use Hyaku, where to use Byaku and where to use Pyaku. Now, Nana Hyaku, 700 is Nana Hyaku. We are back to Hyaku again. And with 800, we have Pyaku with us. And the reading is Hap Pyaku. 900 is Q Hyaku. And then in the end, we have Sen or 1000 or is sen, 1000. Sen means 1000 and is sen means 1000. Of course, both can be used for 1000. So, well, now you must remember for sambyaku, for ropyaku and for hapyaku. The reading changes to byaku and pyaku respectively. Instead of Hyaku, we have these other readings which we have to remember. Try to practice loudly and it will be easy. Now is the tough part actually, now is your part. We have assignments for you. Assignment 1, you have to point at the objects and ask your partner what it is. So, we have these things listed over here. You can ask your partner and practice. Then look at the pictures and practice age. Uh, you have Onnanoko, Oksan, Kangofu, Oji san, Sensei, and Oto san. So, all the vocabulary we have already covered. You can ask your partner and practice. Now, point at the objects and ask your partner with the help of kore, sore and are. 
what they are. Okay. And then we have again name the things below and practice at home. You have umbrella, pencil, keys, shoes, bag, wrist watch, chair and ship. All the pictures are given. You have to say the Japanese equivalent for that. Please practice with that and use kore and sore properly. Now, there is in the end there is vocabulary for you over here. Jidosha, Kuruma, Takushi, Jitensha, Shobosha, Kyukyusha, Densha, Kakueki Densha, Tokyu Densha, Shinkansen, Teki, Kippu, Fune, and Hikoki. So, you can please practice these. Well, now I will finish today's lesson. I think there is lot of vocabulary for you. There are lot of things for you to do at home. Practice with your partner and please one thing I would like to tell you practice loudly. Whatever you say should be clearly heard by you because in that manner it registers faster and you memorize also. So, please try to do that at home with your partner. Well, in the end, sore dewa mina san, arigato gozaimasu, watashi wa kore de owarimasu and let us meet again in our next class, mata ashita aimashou. Thank you.